what a roll. No frills, no expensive packaging, and no fancy tour sponsorships. Sugar Golf, they're claiming that this golf ball is just as good and is set to compete with the Pro V1. It's another premium golf ball that we're seeing. More and more of these come to market where they're lower priced, but claiming to be as good as the best golf balls that we see out there. Today, we're gonna test this out. Just a convenient cube of 27 premium golf balls delivered to your doorstep. So they're cutting out the retailer, sending it direct to you. It comes at a cost of £2.33 a ball versus the £3.75 of a Pro V1. Let's see how it stacks up. We're going to hit a few shots, get a little bit of a field test. Then we're going to head out onto the golf course, play a few holes, and then I'm going to step it up against the Pro V and see if they actually can bolster their claims. Let's get into it. Okay, so upon opening it is, as it says, no frills, cardboard box with the logo on it. Open it up, we see 27 golf balls in there. Strange number 27, I don't know why they've done that, but taking a look at them, branding looks pretty decent. We see the line for the putting, also the sugar logo on there. Actually holding them, you can feel that urethane cover on them. Feels quite soft. Let's see what it's like. So after initial testing around the short game area there, fantastic spin. I was really impressed with the uh, 60 yard pitches, one bounce bit out of the bunker was generating a lot of spin. Even on the short chips, I was noticing quite a lot of grab. Feels good off the face. Um, with the putter again, felt good. And that, that little line is something that I would always use. I'd probably want it a little bit longer, but at the minute, it's standing up really well. We're gonna go and play a couple of holes now, see how it gets on, see a little bit of durability with it. That's always the thing that with these new premium balls um, straight to customer, I tend to see that lacks a little bit. Everything else generally stacks up, distance with driver maybe a little bit out, but the, the durability is out. So we're gonna play 13, 14 and 15, see how it holds up with one golf ball if I don't lose it. And then we're gonna hit some on the launch monitor. Let's go. Nicely down there. Impressive, impressive. What a roll. Not my best work, but it's on the green. Okay, so that is three holes played with it, and this is the ball that I've used the whole time. Not even a sign maybe a tiny little bit of wear there, but you wouldn't know 
that it's been played with. Obviously only three holes didn't give us the, the full picture of its durability. So I would like to maybe play a few rounds with it and report back on how it goes with, with one of these golf balls. But so far, it's definitely standing up to its claims. It's, it's great with the feel, great with durability. Spin-wise, everything's right on point. Let's get it on the launch monitor and see what it's like distance-wise against that Pro V1. Average numbers from a Pro V, 285 yards of carry, 2,022 revs of backspin with a 162 mile per hour ball speed. Is the sugar gonna stack up to it? Let's go. I am actually expecting big things from this, you know. Well, that is a heck of a starter. Whoa. 293. 2076 and a 170 ball speed a very good start <sighs> 270 169 ball speed and 2147 So does the Sugar Golf Ball stack up to its claims of being able to compete with the likes of the Pro V1? Yeah, we see there at the end, 282 yards of distance, 168 miles per hour of ball speed, and 2,400 revs of spin. It sits right along that Pro V number that I get from the Pro V during all my other tests. So a cheaper golf ball, like I say, I'd like to see it done a little bit deeper on the durability sides because that's where they generally fall down, the, the cheaper premium golf balls. But overall, I think it's a fantastic golf ball. It feels good, we get the distance, it looks good. For me, the only criticism I would have, I'm not the fan, of, biggest fan of the writing, but that's just personal preference, probably because I'm used to seeing tightless. But do you know what? It's a great golf ball and it's very interesting to see all these other brands coming to market and competing against the big boys. Guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. Smash that like if you have. I'll see you in the next one.